You're going to get the power up that fucking salty kid got in Sweden. <clears throat> that power up's real. I got the power up in London as well. That power up is real, man. That power up, I feel like when you just have your, where you live at, just fucking yelling for you. I got a power up in your, in your type place as well. Oh, April and I live <laughs> I actually went to all Philly events. I went mad Philly majors. Well, you probably could have won that if you just didn't fuck around. Picking the fucking... You thought you could bring Colleen to me, but... I might <laughs> pick more Kawano, maybe. I was, like, I was just hoping to come back. I was like, well, you got faith in that Colleen, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> but I feel much for it, back. What? Uh, uh, April I know. And then... When I was losing the game after I was getting smoked by Nakodu after that, I was like, no way I just want this beat pug just to lose here. The way I was losing as well, stuff just wasn't working. Grabs was whiffing, that usually connects. Mm. I hate when sets start going like that. Is this on? Will be. Ready? Oh yeah, just let us know the good old win. Yes. All right then. <coughs> cool, what's going on? Um, we are here the night before CEO in the suite, uh, and I've got the two best players in the world with me right now, which is a blessing. Um, Problem X and Punk, and yeah, I just wanted to have a little chat, really. I don't want to do a dry interview, because the interviews are a bit like... Yeah, rinse and repeat. <laughs> so how did you get into the game? Yeah, yeah. What are yeah, your everyone thoughts knows about... about I think yeah. I asked that question enough times. So. Yeah, and uh, like, I've been to enough events where, for me, the most entertaining shit at the event is like talking lobby over dinner or whatever so yeah i want to try and get a uh, a viewer friendly version of that a sponsor friendly version of that um so yeah like we're here ceo another event like what does ceo actually stand for community then? effort orlando yeah, okay i was like, checking you deserve to be on the staff yeah yeah all right, no, yeah. i've got my staff passed down there. <laughs> <laughs> so i know 10 years as well so we're doing it for 10 years damn ah, i didn't know that I know. Now I'm qualified to get in the ring. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. You have, have you picked your, your top eight music yet? Nah, man. You're going to wait? I'm going to wait. I need to get to the top eight. Do you know your top eight music? Of course. Oh. Do you see this guy here? So this will go out afterwards. What is it? Oh, it's like the CM Punk theme song. Oh, okay. Yeah, CM Punk theme Which one, though? The, the Cult of Personality? personality. Yeah. See, I don't know what the restrictions are on the music. Can you get any Yeah, change? yeah. Well, may, may, they just will always use the censored version, though. Mm. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, they won't use the curse yeah, word. So when it you doesn't want... have to be wrestling based. No, 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 no. No, no, anything. Oh, okay. So when you want like based. a Jay Z tune or whatever, they'll just play the radio hit. Yeah. See, I don't know. I might get. I, I was thinking I might do a UK Gram tune or something, but yeah, I don't know if the people on. here would like know what's Who going cares? on. Who gives a fuck with Nah, they don't know. Everyone knows Skepta. Yeah. Oh, I feel yeah. like everybody knows Skepta and fucking. Um, the other one. I had a few ideas. <laughs> the other one. The other one with the G in his name. Um, uh, Giggs. Giggs. Giggs, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. With I think the G's yeah. in his name. Yeah. <laughs> Tree of them. <laughs> Tree of them. Do you know who Stormzy is? No, no. I know what? Jay. Is it JME? JME. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know JME, but you don't know Stormzy. No, I don't know Stormzy. That's why. Jeremy's bigger than Stormzy. Do you reckon? Yeah, he's been doing this for time. Yeah, though. for longer, yeah. but and because Skeps is big. Yeah, but Stormzy sold bare records, bro, and he's uh, headlining Glastonbury like now. No, Glastonbury's not here. I know, but <laughs> Jamie ain't here either. Like, I love huh? like, Jamie's my brethren. I love him. Yeah, he's my real Gaston. life brethren. But Jamie is nice. Yeah, Jamie yeah. Is I love Jamie. Literally, I just said Jamie's serious. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> but you love you love D Double. D Double's my favorite. Do you know who D Double? No. You don't know who D Double? He would probably like. We're gonna. He would show you. We'll show you. He would actually love D Double. Serious. What kind of music are you into? Like in general. Anything that's not country and EDM. So you're, not, you're not fucking with Lil Nas X. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, he he like country pop. Yeah, okay. It's so not really right. country. It's good. He good. I like what he's doing. Yeah, it's mad. It's just cool. It's yeah. different. I like the fact that he's doing it as well. Do you know what I mean? Like it's like he, he, when people do things that it's like people don't want them to do or they sh they think they shouldn't be doing. Yeah. It. That's mm. what I like that the most as well. When when they do it good. Though. Yeah, no, obviously. Yeah, yeah, you can't just like yeah, do just stuff with yeah. black <laughs> then, then I think you shouldn't be doing it either, you get me? Yeah, so... Yeah, I had a few <laughs> ideas. Maybe UK Gram tune, maybe like a DMX tune. I don't know, I like DMX. So. Yeah. Like, yeah, if it was wrestling, I'd have to use some kind of 
Degeneration XP. Right. <laughs> if it was wrestling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I got a few ideas, but when I get there, I'll figure something out. You're focusing on, on Saturday first. Yeah, well, actually, I'm focusing on watching the harvest this tomorrow. Yeah, you've got a whole day off, right? right? When are your pools? Friday, tomorrow. Yeah, but late, right? Is it yeah. six? No, four. Oh, four, four or two. One of them. I don't know which one. Right. If you get a lay in. Yeah. I got Saturday 10 a.m., but it's not that bad. Yeah. Because <clears throat> it's, it's the Saturday. You could play the whole day, run one run. If I'm on point, then I'll be so on point. So you flew out mad early, though. You flew out on Wednesday. Just in case I was playing on Friday. Okay. And oh, because you booked it in advance. Yeah, yeah, you didn't know when yeah, the pools yeah, were out. I hear you. And obviously, you had. You had, um, I expected to be playing. It said I should be like fourth seed here. Yeah. I expected to be like, like you know, maybe twelve p.m. or two p.m. Friday, but get me Saturday. So happy days. You're in that block. Um, yeah. Yeah. I guess it's split into four, isn't it? So, yeah. But that means you should be playing in the first ones because you. Nah, they just. Nah, I know you're, you're not. definitely first seed. Anyway, yeah, they don't care about me. You know? They don't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't get those privileges. Who is the first pool? I don't know. A block. I don't know. Bro. Yeah, but it's show is not there either. I should do some uh, some revision on it because I've got to commentate that block tomorrow. So mm-hmm. I'll do that in bed at two a.m. in the morning. That's when I do all my best thinking. But yeah, because you you went type A in it and got murked by the jet lag. That jet lag was, as I'm telling you, it's unheard of. Yeah, never saw anything <laughs> like that. I travel on the regular as well. I, even Capcom gave me like five hundred selfies of my own video, all taken on a plane. Yeah. So I'm definitely travelling, but that, nah. I was telling Punk there as well, I was like, bro, I, I don't know what <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I, was like, I was like, how did you deal with the jet lag? Because he's going to, I've never been to Japan, yeah. so he's going to Japan and that, he's been to Asia a few times. I was like, how did you deal with the jet lag? He's like, not that bad for Americans. Like, he said Europe is worse. Yeah, I think Europe worse. It's weird, yeah, because that going forward... Yeah, it's just it's like going forward, isn't it? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Him coming to Europe is the same as you going to Japan. It's like eight, nine, yeah, ten that's hours. That's what I'm saying. Going to Japan is just like 12 but, hours. So yeah, it's he the just same time. Flips the clock round. Yeah, yeah, it's just the same time, just a different AM or PM. It's mm. just different. Yeah, when you're like stuck in like just in the middle of six, seven hours, just messing up your day. Yeah, like, but yeah. when I go to Europe, I'm super jet lagged. I hate being in Europe. It's worse. It's so bad. Eight hours is just random. It is that. <laughs> but you're coming. Yeah. You're coming for UFA. Yeah. Saw that prize money. Yeah, it'll probably be UFA, Celtic Throwdown. And Celtic Throwdown. It's versus though. fighting. And versus fighting. What about EGX? Yeah, U- EGX, yeah. Come and win the European Regional Finals yeah. as well. Is that what you're on? Yeah. No, what did think... you think about when Problem was coming to all of them American <laughs> rankings? You know, I wasn't at any of the ones he was at last year, so we don't. Uh, they don't count. Oh, uh, yeah? They don't count. Not yeah. any. I'm actually still the reigning champion for Northwest Majors. He got no. the interim belt. Uh, I won no first majors. And Strider has another interim belt of his belt, so. Okay. Yeah, but I am the oh, real so, champion. So basically, if you go to the event and the reigning champion isn't there, it doesn't count. Yeah. You're yeah, not yeah, the I real know. new champion. He's just trying to use mind games to make me skip Evo because he don't want to add you. <laughs> 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 like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if you don't go to Evo and someone win, they're not the real champ. That's How hard is it in grand finals at Evo? When you're playing against the Kido, that's the common factor. Yeah. <laughs> that is the common factor, right? Everybody. How hard but is that? Basically, for me... Because you both lost the set to Takedo, technically. I, I watched Takedo versus Punk before I played Takedo. Okay. I was in the back. I was, I was like, this is the exact same situation. Yeah. This is a grand final of the biggest tournament in the world. Evo, well, depending on how you view Captain Cup, but in terms of Evo... Yeah, there ain't no other tournament yeah, that you're going to yeah. be playing with 18,000 people watching you yeah. live in the fucking venue. That's crazy. Yeah, Evo, Evo is the ultimate gauntlet tournament where everyone can take part. You don't have to have any method of qualification. So, mm. based on that, it's the biggest tournament in the world. And I was like, so this is the same player in the same situation. How does he play? What kind of things can I pick up on? Obviously, a different matchup, but it's a very mental game. So, I was like... Okay, the reset happened. Remember, the same guy's coming from losers as well. Exact yeah. same scenario. So I was like, okay, he reset the, if he resets the bracket, I, I skipped the first set. The first set don't matter. Because <laughs> for me, the first set doesn't matter. Because if That's you lo- wild. If he lost the first set, yeah. it was done. Yeah. What happens is when you're, when you're in losers bracket and you come to grand finals, if you win the first set, you just win the first You go in with a game plan and you're like, I know the matchup. If I win, it's whatever. Then once you win that set, the second set is now mental because you've just beaten someone in the set who had advantage, mm. taking advantage away. So now you've got a bit more data, you're in their head, they're more worried, etc., etc. So I was like, how does this guy think in that scenario if he resets the bracket, what's he gonna try and do? 
I saw when he played uh, Punk, he tried to immediately demoralize in the first round of the new set. Okay. So I was like, I think he's going to try something similar. That's why I jumped that demon. Yeah. Now that demon, was, that demon, if you go check, was in the first game of the reset. I was like, if he hits with the demon, he wants to do this demon to try and get into my head. Yeah. That's why I did dash neutral jump. I was like, oh, how do you jump that? Obviously, it's a guess, but it was a educated guess. That particular guess was for me watching that set. I knew he was trying to demoralize. And then, like, if I get past this, then I have the upper hand. Mm. And they don't really know my, at the time, they didn't really yeah, know my proper character. fresh. Yeah, they didn't yeah. Really know my character as well. Um, so I could run with that. But also, I was just on four. Like, I was like, if I get top eight, I've got a good bracket. I played Gachikun, I've had good history against him. I played Fudo, I've got a good history against him. And I know both matchups, courtesy of Big Bird, Luffy. Um, and Akuma, I've always felt Bison did good against. I've said that from yeah, ages ago, yeah. before I played Takedo. Um, so I was like, yeah, it's a good matchup. It's mine to win. And I don't really play players. I play characters and then the player. Mm. Not like, oh, I'm playing Takedo. Excellent player, legend in his own right. But I, don't well, I guess that's up. what comes in, like you but said, the, the match second up. set, in it? The first yeah. set. No, but even going in, people are like, oh, you're playing so I don't look past that. Mm. I was like, I know the matchup though. And this game has uh, fewer options. Mm. So don't matter who you are, <laughs> like, obviously people are exceptional, like, Punk's clearly the best Karen, his hit confirms are way above every, every, mm. everybody else's, but it's still Karen. It's still when you knock her down, she still has nine, well, unfortunately, nine two five health <laughs> now, like, and a DP, and that's the options. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, if I knock him, it'd be harder to knock down Punk, for example, but if I knock him down, he's in the same nonsense as any other Karen. So you just got to think about that mindset. When you were watching, did you want him to win? Problem? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I was watching in a room with like K Brad and we we're just like mad hype. After he lost the first set though, I thought it was over. I was like, <laughs> Yeah, and I was same like, shit. And I was like, damn, same score, just like me three one reset. Yes, yeah, it might be done. <laughs> but you know, when he jumped the demon, I was like, Oh yeah, it's over. And then he dashed through the fireball, I was like, Oh, it's done. Yeah. You can't be dashing through a fireball on reaction and somebody gonna win. Nah, it was over. So keto was done. <laughs> he ain't know how to come back after that one. Do you think at the moment anyone can beat you two sets in Street Fighter Five? Now? Yeah. Two sets? Because you've lost to people, but you always come back and win the win the either the the the, the rematch or the reset bracket in Grand Finals. Yeah, it's hard to say with Tokido. You know, I just don't know. It's just like it's a toss up. I feel like so that's one. That's a guy. It's just hard to know. An Angry Bird. I don't know what Angry Bird either. Yeah, that looked pretty brutal in the run back though. Uh, it was the same thing happened to me though. Yeah, I think I could get with T sets with Abigail. Okay, I think I could get with T sets because that Abigail was fresh as well. Yeah, I wasn't practiced that time. Mm. I wasn't practicing the matchup, so yeah. it's low. It's even. It's even. <laughs> I hope I really hope that's grand finals again. <laughs> like I want that to be grand finals at every premiere this year. Like it's so sick that you two are like the best at the moment. Like Tokido is amazing. Fujimura. Fujimura looks terrifying again. Like, Fudo's uh, he, getting he, second place. He does game. his thing in Asia, though, but he always struggles when he comes to Western yeah. events. So, yeah. I think Fujimura is going to get God again. And I wasn't at Taiwan. Don't really count. <laughs> <laughs> One grand finals place was just not me there and then home. And then, it, you know, outcome would have been most likely me. He always beat him. Most of the time, he only beat me once. So, I think he, he he just got he got away with it. I decided to cancel Taiwan, you know, too far. Oh, you had it booked? No, I didn't book it, but oh, okay. it was going to get booked. And I was like, all right, man, this is kind of far. I don't feel like going, really. I mean, I feel, yeah, if right now, if Pugs and Grand Final winners, it's definitely an uphill battle for everyone. Mm. Um, but... I, I like, I like playing Punk. I think I when I play Abigail, I bring something different. No one, no one's playing Abigail mm. in grand finals right now. Definitely not. Not even playing them in tournaments. Yeah. Right? No, one's actually, <laughs> no, one's, no one's actually playing. Like he's a heavy guest based character, but and he's lost a little bit of. The, oh yeah, he's definitely way weaker now. But the, the survivability as well, because he used to be able to guess, him, you know, maybe one more guess. And he got lower stun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Some re same stun as Reeve. 
Look at the size of the guy. <laughs> so he's got the same. He's got the same stun as Laura. No, but Laura is like a uh, grappler, though. So I know, but look generically, at the size of them, yeah, but generically they have more endurance because they have. A, like, how you got Ryu's got keep out reversal and he's got the same stun as Ryu. That's yeah. that's comedy. And but yeah, as I was saying, punk in grand finals is really hard. I think anyone in the top four in grand final winners, I don't think anyone really likes their chances. No. If I'm if I'm in winners grand final of a tournament, I don't think people like their chances of it. Mm. Like you can beat, can do it. Punk can do it. Takeda can do it. But I don't think you go and think, yeah, I'm definitely gonna win this. Yeah. And Fujimori's in grand final winners. Maybe you, <laughs> maybe you. Right? Like I don't really like that matchup to be honest. So I'm not gonna figure. I can win it, a reset. Mm. But I'm not like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna win. Top four players. I don't think no one thinks that. Anyone else? I think okay. If I play. Correctly, it could work out. Is Fudo going to win a tournament this year? He won a tournament, though. No, no. A premier. He didn't win a tournament, did he? I don't think so. No, he got second at all of them. I think Fudo's and consistency. And he's just ranking, yeah. His good. consistency is amazing. Yeah, he's a, maybe the most consistent in Street Fighter Five lifespan. Maybe. Yeah. He might have the most second places. If I if I look at top eight, appearances. he's definitely there. Yeah, most most somewhere. of the time. Yeah. I think, um, I mean, where did he finish in the leaderboard last year? Oh, well, overall? Yeah. Top, like, seven, I think. Yeah, I wanted to say six or seven. Yeah, I think, like, yeah. Tokido just kept beating him last year all the time. Yeah. Kind of weird, people have different momentum spikes. Yeah. Like, um, for example, yeah, I think, like, what was it, 2017, Punk was basically probably a bit worse than that. I think this year is even better. Yeah. Like, but same same stuff, just everything was just spiraling out of control. No one could stop, stop yeah. the guy. But 2018, like, he just didn't want to play Cammy. You saw what happened when he didn't want to play Cammy, you know what I'm saying? Like, try, try, <laughs> try to fit Cammy in that, but it was just, boy. It was 5-4. Huh? It was 5-4, bro. It was, yeah, but. Last round. Yeah, you had to pick Cammy to qualify last year, though. Cammy Car- wasn't working out. You realize towards the end, you know, things happen. I don't think he. I don't think he would have had a bad twenty eighteen if he kept playing character. I don't think that would have even been. Mm. Why did you? Why did you not feel like confident enough in, that, in her? You know, I just had a lot of personal stuff going on, and mm. I didn't feel like practicing the game. And I felt like Cammy was just the easiest character in the game at the time. So I was like, maybe, you know, just fucking jump around, do some dive kicks. Be that's plus on the, everything all the time. That's yeah. the that's the uh, symptoms of losing to Abigail. That's what it does to you. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. I, I played Chun Li at the beginning. No, I bet she was. I bet she was. I bet she was. I could never kind of pick my Abigail. You can't pick all the other Abigail players. That Montreal, he destroyed it. To that yeah, yeah, yeah. Slapped him up. Never kind of pick my. Is it because I have Bison or? Yeah, what? you'll pick Bison. I don't feel like. <laughs> I know Itazan ain't gonna pick who is the nut character. He got a Zangi for another good matchup. So all the grapplers play other grapplers. Mm. So they don't really actually have a real counter pick to any character. So they just gonna go to another bad matchup and hope that it works out. So yeah, I, yeah. I would say as well. Do you think? What do you think of the influx of the current players now? What's yeah. your opinion? What's your opinion? You've got bare kids out there now. I, mean, it's, it's, uh, it's, I think it's funny because you just <laughs> see... Like, do you take it as a compliment? I mean, I guess it's a compliment and disrespect <laughs> at the same time. I can, yeah, I can see that. It's like Dave's pretty much saying, oh, he went in with her, I could win too. Mm. So it's pretty much them saying they're better or equal to me. Mm. But then they realize when they go into tournaments and they getting smoked by everybody who been playing me for years and they wondering like, hmm, what, what do what is he doing different than me? I don't think he's better. He just winning. Definitely seeing a few people get better results though. Oh yeah, but carry. but if a character gets buffed, yeah. that means everyone's performance gets buffed. It's just yeah. that some people's performance was here and it's now here. Whereas other people, well, only with regards to Karen, Punk's performance was here yeah. anyway, and it might go to here now. Yeah. So a buff affects everyone, because you're using the same program. Oh, of course. I mean, it's similar to the Bison players. Mm. I see a bunch of Bisons around now as well. So I think it's the same thing. But a lot of people were playing Bison before anyway, and there's still good Bison players there. 
but I I think you gave them confidence to travel. I don't think that any has any since the release of Street Fighter Five has any Bison player won even a ranking of it. Besides Phenom at the start of season one. That yeah. was it. I think that's it. Yeah. Has Hot Dog ever won anything? No. He got third. Did like Picaro win any like one away? No. Ah. no. Latin American ranking online shit. But I remember this, this character's top five though, right? I remember that. Yeah. At the start of the season, after I won either, that's how it goes. I well, got the buffs though, innit? All the yeah, buffs. Top five though. Everyone's V school buff. Everyone's supposed to be winning Cheap. now, right? Plus two on block. Oh, he needs that. No. Huh? No. He's got enough plus frames, but he doesn't need that. But Karen's got enough damage. Yes, she didn't she need has. that ex shoulder buff. You also got enough damage. But I'm, I've got no reversal, no walk speed, no. Nah, no. you got but reversal. How, how, how are you able to land your reversal so often, bro? I don't do it a lot. No, do you know, people just. It's when so people, annoying and when neutral, people so get just, the yeah, knockdown, yeah, 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 I feel like they yeah, want to yeah, stay yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. want to be in there and make me guess, but I'm like, nah, we go back to neutral. If you block my DP, maybe, maybe you win the round. Maybe I can come back. I still got probably two more bars left, so you got to deal with two more EX shoulders. I might wake <laughs> up EP again. You don't know. So. <clears throat> the reversal is just a thing of them not. They just couldn't get in for mad long. But got whiff punished too many times. They're like, oh, it's finally my turn. And they get their turn. They try to run their stuff. They don't get to. Just wake up, DP them. Yeah, I mean, influx of players playing the same character, it's the same thing, for my opinion. So it's, it's, it's both. It's a, it's a slight disrespect as well. Mm. Because not only is it a... I see a lot of people just copy and pasting. That as well. But when they don't... When people don't do as well with the character and you continue to do well, I don't see the same amount of uh, credit being given. Like, oh yeah, it's just him. I don't see them all turning around saying mm. that. Everyone who says the character's busted at that. They're still saying the character's busted. Yeah, but they're not. So when no one else is winning yeah. and someone is still winning with the, the original guy is winning with the character, I don't see all the people turn around saying, do you know what? This person is excellent or whatever. No one does that, don't they? It's weird, man. I don't really see people give like yeah. real credit. Yeah, no one does that. But I don't think a lot of people that watch really know why people are good either. Do you know what I mean? Nah, but like they kind of own. There's a lot of there's a lot of viewers out there, and even players. Like there's a lot of players that can't really tell you why someone's good. I just think personally, people get offended when someone tells them this person's better than them with the character. Yeah, people to get offended. I don't get hurt if it's not if it's true. If it's true, it don't matter. Yeah, exactly. That yeah. just should be motivation for you. Like, I, right, I gotta go get better now. I don't hope. It's just like the whole the perfect example. This whole Zeku thing. Oh my god. Yeah, Zeku exactly yeah. thing. It's yeah. clear that Angry Bird is better, but <laughs> no one wants to admit it. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I feel like I'm the best Zeku too. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about that? Like people who's like they're focusing on being the best with a character, like. I think that's just a bad mindset. Yeah. You should focus on winning tournaments and being Damn the best right. player. No, but I could win every tournament and main five different characters and be mediocre with all of them, and I'm more happy than maining one character, winning no yeah. tournaments, being the best with them. But that's a, it's, I, I'm exactly the same, but that's a champion mindset. Mm. I think when people realize that that pursuit is very difficult, then they, you accept the next like, I think that about Knuckle doing season one as well. He wants to win. No, but like that kind of that same kind of approach to them character. Like, he wasn't the best Mika. I, I don't people know if he don't was the want to be the best with the character. Yeah, they yeah. just want a title. Yeah. Soon people are going Some to start giving out recognition. Yeah, best battle outfit one and all of that. You know what I'm saying? Best, best DLC user. Yeah, like, you know, there's just too many people who's content with beating one player. Like, say someone beat me, they're happy with not winning a tournament after that. Yeah. They I happy, see that for both of you. And they, the they're happy yeah. going on Twitter or telling their friends like oh yeah I beat him in tournament but you might have beat that person but you lost and they could have won the tournament yeah. so does that, it does that it definitely happens with you does it matter if you that beat that person you, you could be like oh I'm the only person to beat him that week but does it matter you you yeah. lost to like they the, finished 13th as well yeah, or some you, shit, you, like. you lost to the next guy that was probably nowhere near as better than him but you just maybe got lucky that day and you're content with that and you happy to put that on your resume like, oh, I beat home and Paul's got 33rd. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you reset in grand finals and won the whole thing. So, yeah, like it's dead. It's very dead. Yeah, there's lots of different agendas at FTC right now. I think it's going in the right direction, but I just think people's mindsets are questionable. Yeah. I'm not going to say right or wrong because people's thoughts are their thoughts. Yeah, yes. yeah but questionable. It's, it's not the way I would think. Yeah. Just like even people like talking about crying for sponsorship mm. and stuff like and when they do get a sponsor, why are you why are you just trying to go to Evo? I'll be mm. taking that budget and going to like weaker tournaments with less big names yeah, to, you, to try and qualify. Yeah, you don't wanna go to Evo when you're most likely not gonna do so well because everyone is there. Go Evo and get hundred and twenty eighth. Yeah, like, yeah just might, for the what, what is that? Probably like ten points. I mean, I guess the experience is good, but if you can't travel anywhere else in the long run, the yeah, experience no. gets you yeah. nowhere. It gets you back online, playing online, hoping that you can win your it's CPT. It's like a holiday for people, you know what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, like, I just, I mean, when I was coming up, qualification was all I cared about. Yeah. There was one, one year when they had the top two of the region qualifying hmm. for the yeah. Capcom Cup. That's all, I can, that's all I could do that. That was the year. I think that was the first year when I was main and Alex. Um, yeah. I got through top two of the region. You can say what they want, oh, we're not pro, but slowly, but slowly, but slowly. I know where, where I'm, where I'm. Got to be honest with yourself. Right now, at that time, I wasn't able to say win an Evo. Mm. And not at that time. I was playing main at Alex for starters. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I was main at Alex for starters. I was struggling versus a lot. Like, even the tournaments yeah. I won was a struggle. I'm like, they, these are not even like the top, top guys that are waiting for me. Yeah. So until I'm winning confidently here, I'm not even, if, whatever I do here is a, is a bonus at that point I wanted to just get into Capcom Cup and try and get my name out there gradually you change it's just like a tweet I put out the other day I won a ranking now I've won regional finals I've won these tournaments that I want to try and really win Capcom Cup obviously I want to win everything I'm at but it's steps yeah some people just like yeah sponsor got that now flying to Evo maybe CEO will stay over or whatever that's great but you can't win a weekly yet yeah yeah or you don't go to I don't think people are looking at it like it's like a business as well. Do you know what I mean? Where like you get your sponsorship deal and you should look at it like you've started a business where people are trying to take out straight away. Yeah. Like, I've got a sponsor now and we go to Evo because like I'm taking the most out of that. It's like, like a fun experience. It's like a holiday. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a big convention. It's the, it's the best experience going to Evo, right? But it's not best for your business. Like, yeah, no, what's best for your business is going to all these tournaments yes. where you can pick yeah. up at 80 points or 40 points and you're constantly being seen yeah you go to evo you yeah. might not even get on stream yeah you, and then you spend <coughs> two two grand two bags whatever gone yeah sponsors you some people i don't know how they what they say to the sponsor like what they're capable of especially if they're given results yeah. of of like lesser tournaments that they've won like got first here and this weekly so the sponsor who might not be in the fgc yeah. might think okay we got us a, a winner here yeah but on the grand scheme of things, you're winning like small, small fry. Yeah. You go to Evo, sponsors expecting something. I'll show you a really good example of that Hurricane last year, right? Hurricane last year beat Infiltration off stream, no one saw it, and lost to, um, lost to Fudo 2 1. Again, off stream, no one saw it. He did play on stream, I can't remember who he played on stream. Um, but even his 17th, which is an amazing result, but the visibility was minimal. So. Like the value for a sponsor in that is not high. Whereas yeah. if I'm sponsoring a player and I know they're playing on Sunday, every event they go to, that's the best investment, right? Yeah. Even if they finish seventh every time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. said, Fudo is the most and consistent They're on stream a lot during yeah. that week. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, just... And this game, is a, <laughs> it's a game that's similar to poker, in my opinion, mm. where sometimes you can do the right thing and still lose. There is bad wins. There's randomness. There's bad wins still, and good losses. But good players win out in poker. Even yeah, with more the or less. Randomness. Yeah. yeah, there's bad wins and good losses. Yeah. If you can't beat someone in neutral, you somehow get in and you do like eight command grabs in a row for the entire set you only command grabbed. Yeah. Right? Okay, there's questions to be asked on both sides why the guy didn't, <laughs> didn't jump yeah. or whatever. But like realistically, the fact that I was your go to, and then you're all popping off and they're like, yeah, got him. Like, scooped him eight times. Yeah, I can beat him now. <laughs> That's not feasible. It's not reliable. You're not going to win a tournament like that. And you probably can't beat that guy again like that. So, people winning in inconsistent manners is uh, short term. And you actually hype yourself up. Because you start thinking that you're better than what is actually 
unfortunately, I thought you might be at that point. Yeah. I've done it as well. That's why I slowly migrated from certain characters. If you not noticed the consistent pe- people, even Fudo is trying to stop doing it now, stop trying to play more birdie in yeah. certain matchups. Consistent people don't play complete gamble all the time. You've got Punk, you've got myself, I play Bison, obviously. He plays Karen. You've got Ibuki, Fujimura, Fudo playing a mixture now of birdie. And he actually won his first tournament when birdie was played, you know? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. The, the Japan tournament. Yeah, he yeah, won, yeah. yeah, when birdie was actually be, beginning to be played. Who's uh, Whoever else is more because Takedo, not playing a command grab only, mm. like you go mad character. And the people who do that, you could probably name three tournaments, tournaments on your hand where they shone out. Cause that's all there is yeah. to that. It might be a day. Highlight reel. Yeah, but if you, you don't want to bet that. No. You actually don't want to bet that. And there's a lot of these characters in this game. It's not a good investment fun. like for your, your sponsor. Like You have to get some crazy... Br- you have to time... Which you're not in control of as well. You have the time when the, when the, when that result comes in, and you're not in control of it. Yeah. Like everything might go right for you at Thunderstruck Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like it, everything might go right for you there, but you go to Capcom Cup and you go zero two because they jumped every time you went for a command grab, or they DP'd every time you went for a meaty, and like the the investment is bad because yeah. I had to send you to twenty events to get there, and you showed up with what. That I mean, what's your thoughts on that top of, that sort of play style? I mean, it's just a gamble, you know. You'll never get it off a lot, you know. Sometimes you work. You, you should just hope that it works to get you in the Capcom Cup, you know. That's the goal. I feel like you know. So I just think it's a bad. It's bad to only have that one mindset and play style. So I want to. I want to gamble him out of the tournament. I want to rock paper scissors him out. Mm. So it's not going to work every time. It's rock paper scissors. You don't win every time. Yeah, you're not playing first and tens either. Yeah, do you know so what I mean? Like, like that's the that's the poker thing. Like, you play so many hands you could, that the you luck only goes play away. Like, you can only play like that if you've got mad chips. Yeah, yeah. You go to like Itzan goes to like every event. I was gonna say Itzan's a great example. He had, you know he's gonna be everywhere, so he season, can gamble. He was struggling at the beginning. Yeah. Then he went to Latin America qualified, yes. and he got grand finals. Yeah. Of Capcom Cup. But yeah. the whole year, it wasn't popping off. Anyway, but he got he got the the gamble work when it needed. Yeah, right? yeah that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. the, he was fortunate enough that that shit came in for him when it yeah, well, absolutely mattered. When you're playing for two hundred and ten grand yeah, or whatever it was, it's a, it's not playing for a twelve hundred dollar pot bonus. You're playing for the big. T- but you you're not in control of that, really. It, it's can't. a strategy. Yeah. But I wouldn't. It's just like like I said. That's what I say about poker. You can have bad bad uh, wins and good losses. Mm. Because there is risk reward in the game. Certain things do more damage than other things. Yeah. If someone keeps rinse and repeating certain something that's mad risky, you may have lost that set, but in the long run, what they done is not really sensible. Yeah. In the long run. You may have got me past that. People might be like, Oh, wins a win. Yeah. And that, that's when I, I that's where my mentality is I can't it's not the same as someone who thinks Especially that. as someone that like you guys go to so many events that you have to have that mindset of I need to have something that I can reproduce at all these events I'm going to. Not like, yeah, I've said it again. I'm going to Evo. Hope it works out for me because that's yeah. the only event I'm going to. Yeah, and like, you're playing, swinging out. Yeah, mad grabs in that at yeah. Evo. Two grand. Yeah. Eight hour flight. Two grand. <laughs> Everyone's watching every match. Yeah. They yeah. know your strategy at that point. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And it's just you don't know what I, the guy. I might just be like, you know what? This round I'm only going to hold up. I don't care what you're doing. Oh, you done it. Now you lose. Yeah. I don't think. Mm. It's easier to not think. Of course. That's why that style can be replicated. You probably see more Mikas, more Lauras, more of these characters in a tournament well, than Laura you see. season two was the, like, the, the Evo, Evo 2017, Laura was harvesting people left, right and centre, Wei Lees and wild Taiwaneses and that <laughs> all over the place. Like, She's a guys were character. falling like it was a, like a movie. Yeah, I mean, I respect that type of gameplay if that's if that's what you're here for. But if you're trying to be consistent, it's not a consistent method. No. For a sponsored player, it's not good. And I think it depends. Like, Itizan's okay for it. Yeah, he, he done it, he's done it for so long that he's actually good at it and he can replicate it. Yeah. yeah. He's actually good at replicating he's, it. He's insanely good at guessing. 
I, yeah, I don't so understand how he's he If you guess that many times, you know, you just know what your opponent is thinking sometimes, you know? You play Geef so long, you just know. You yeah. play poker so long, you just start to know people's faces. You're like, oh, that's yeah. his poker face. He's bluffing. So, yeah. Itazan, may, he, he just know, you're like, okay, this situation, I played him so many times, I know what he likes to do most times. So, maybe this time he won't jump, but most times he'll always get command grab. So... Just go for the command grab every time that situation is good. Yes. But a lot of people, you know, they cannot replicate it. You know, some Mika players, they will command grab. Like, friends like El Chapo, they played Tokido last year. He yeah, command yeah, grabbed yeah, yeah, him a lot. Yeah. But who's to say they play again? And this time Tokido's like, okay, I don't want to take these command grabs today. I'm going to hold up. So, <laughs> or, or you might play Johnny Donuts in the next round. And he decides he's just going to hold up for no reason. Man, he never played you. He, he might just, just decide. Yeah, oh, yeah. Mika, she's got command grab loops. Okay, yes. I'm just going to hold up. Player skill to avoid risky play styles doesn't have to be that high. Yeah. But player skill to avoid a more solid play style, the player's, other player skill has to be of relative yeah. uh, in depth to a certain degree. So it, anyone can hold up, I guess, a command grab character, but not yeah. everyone can delay tech or... Yeah. Or yeah, or risk reward. Micro walk blocks. So yeah, they're not getting hit by low forward. Yeah, exactly, all the time that's stuff. a bit yeah. more difficult to do. Yeah. So yeah. you want to lose to who? In a weird way, you want to lose to who you're supposed to. In yeah, a weird way, that. you don't want to lose to who you're not supposed to. That's the key. You don't want to lose when you're not supposed to. If you got a good matchup, you want to have a strategy that you always ninety five percent of the time win that matchup. Yeah. If you got a bad matchup. A bad matchup means the odds are not in your favour. If the player is of equal level... You're you, probably going to lose yeah, more exactly. times than, than win. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but yeah. when you have good matchups and you keep losing, something's wrong with your strategy. Yeah, like I know I won't beat Fudo consistently, but at NCR, I somehow did it. But at the last two times we played, he beat me. So I know when he plays birdie, there's no way I win more times. But you know, hopefully that when I do win, it's when it matters more. And it was when I was in loser's bracket on tournament life. Yeah. I beat him to eliminate him. So it, it mattered more than when he beat me in the winner's bracket. And I'm like, okay, this is better than me beating him then. And then maybe Tokido beat me in a winner's then. And I go back down to food and I'm like, okay, I got to fight Bernie again. Lose, yeah. And I lose that time. It's like, okay, I know I'm supposed to lose this. It's a bad matchup. Yeah. And it's a great player playing the character. So it's even harder like I could beat, up, yeah, I could beat out. mid-level birdies because even though the matchup is hard, they aren't playing the they're matchup. Not playing the match yeah, they're not here, playing yeah, the yeah. matchup. You're playing the matchup to here, but they're playing the matchup yeah, to but here. Fudo, so it turns a six-four into like a he understands four, four, the in-depth of what makes the matchup bad, and he abuses that, which is yeah. a good thing. You know, I can't fault him for abusing what's good in the matchup. You know, I didn't just try to even counterpick him or adapt and try to just beat him with my character. What do you think about how Tokido's beating Fudo at the moment in the birdie matchup? Did he? He's holding up forward. Yeah, a and, and a lot to do with the demon flip. They always change their demon flip dive kick time yeah. because you cannot anti or crouch, crouch medium, medium punch all yeah. the time. And sometimes the bullhorn gets beat, so yeah. it's hard. I think it, it might the actually get be. stuffed as well. Grounded. Even though I do think birdie might have a slight advantage, I think it's harder for the birdie player to actually win over the Akuma because of the dive kick demon flip makes it so difficult to anti your home. It's just difficult. I think Fudo and Takeda probably trained the match together. Yeah. Um, Takeda played Mena and lost. Yeah. The birdie main who's Because I feel like, I feel like that strategy that Takeda's using is one of those not solid strategies. But that's all. The, that's what the character, that's why it's a bad matchup. Yeah. Because you have to go to that. Yeah. yeah. And like, that's why, <laughs> Like, people using those strategies will do worse against maybe worse players or not as good players in some instances because they're also doing stuff that's not to the book of the matchup. Yeah, I mean, a bad matchup... Because usually Mena means... plays wild. So... Sometimes. He's kind of toned it down a little bit now. But it's still there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think... If you play to the book in a bad matchup, you'll probably lose. Mm. You probably have to play a bit out of the book to win a, a bad yeah, matchup. Yeah, yeah, you can't yeah, play. That, yeah, it's like there's nothing for Akuma on the ground anyway. Yeah, like, he, can, like, he can't shoot that. fireball. Yeah, like, like you, you don't want to play neutrals, yeah. you get hit by that and everything else. And, 
if Nash plays textbook against Bison, I don't think he can ever win. Yeah, I mean, good. even playing untextbook. Yeah, in that a, match, yeah. <laughs> Nash don't really have untextbook things in the game that allows him to just trick his opponent. When's the last so, time you saw a Nash in tournament? I don't know, you know, I've probably beaten players in pools or tournaments who probably were Nash mains and just decided not to pick it. <laughs> like, you know, like there's, probably, there's probably that. Yeah. Like, remember, what was that tournament where uh, someone tried to pick me, was like Gif, and I went to Abigail, he tried to go to Urien. And then I played Bison Zangief and he lost anyway. Once I got one game, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. somehow win the second game, you get an Abigail. Like, match was like Abigail Zangief. That match there is um, if Zangief does what he's supposed to or plays normally, I don't think he could ever win. Yeah. Just can't get past he that. Just can't. <laughs> <laughs> like, but yeah, I mean, what's the other. You got any other like main sort of question? Or? Um, I'm interested in talking about sponsors as well. How, how many have you had? What do you mean? Like how many general? sponsors have you had? Mass Sports, obviously, you've been with. Yeah, that's the. Me. I'd say that's the proper sponsor. I've had. Everything yeah. else has been some kind of. Uh, Whereas you've been on a bunch of yes. uh, big teams as well, big three. name teams. Three. How many? Three now. Yeah. So, yeah. so Echo Fox, Panda, and, uh, Reciprocity. And Reciprocity now as well. So like when you're approaching speaking to sponsors like you must be really well versed in like what to expect what to ask for what you need what yeah, kind I think of things going into sponsorship you should have a general idea of what you want yeah so you should ask for it. you shouldn't be scared to ask for it. i know there's a lot of players who are actually scared to ask for stuff because they don't they think they don't be, a lot of players don't believe in there's a such thing as negotiation they feel like if they ask for something they don't like it that then the team is just leaving them <laughs> they just not talking to them no more but that's not true, you know. Nah, that's what happens with NBA 2K9. Oh, oh, the negotiations on the game. Charles for 20 minutes, like, nah, yeah, yeah, get yeah, out. Yeah. <laughs> for 20 minutes, like, nah, nah, bro. <laughs> yeah, but they're going to get left on red. There's nothing wrong with actually trying to negotiate your contract for, to make it better for you, you know. If, if they don't like what you're offering and if, I mean, I don't think you should settle for it. A lot of people, they'll ask for something, they don't get it, they'll settle for it less that they don't really want. And, yeah. you know, there's there's a lot of opportunities in the fighting games now. There are a lot of teams looking in for players. You know, a lot of people are getting sponsored. So I feel like, you know, if you don't get the one you want, maybe you just wait it out for a long. If you have the financial funds to wait it out for a little longer yeah. and just play, I think you should just wait it out, you know. Don't try to rush in there and be like, okay, I need this now. Do you think people even know what to ask for? Like, do you think they even know what they need? I think a, not a lot of players because they, a lot of people are first, they're on their first sponsorships yeah. now. And they just see things and they take it. You know, everyone's been there. You know, I've even been there. You know, I feel like maybe there's a time I didn't know my worth and I just took any. I'm like, oh, I see money. And this is what I want right now. That's all I care about is just seeing some type of money yeah. and just playing the game because I just want to play. You know, pretty much you just want to travel and play. You don't, and you see a little bit of money like, oh, I, as long as I get to travel and play, you don't really care. But if you want to be a pro, you know, you don't see LeBron James. He's not about to take a contract for a million dollars only to get a ring. He don't care about the ring. He wants money and the ring, but... I'm sure the financial part is more of what he wants. To, you know, God take care of his family. Well, like yes. you said, ask, ask for what you want. Yeah, right? he I has. want the team to be built like this, and I need to be paid this because that's what I'm worth. And yeah, if but, I'm not getting both of that, then I'll go. Yeah, but I'll go there's to Brooklyn. Some instances, whatever. you know, where, where maybe you ask for something that's just outrageous. Yeah, it's, it's kind of outrageous, <laughs> but in your head, you don't want to believe that, but. Yeah. It actually is outrageous, and the team is actually in a right. You know, because sometimes not always the team is in a wrong, and people ask for dumb things. So, I think that... What's the craziest thing you've heard of someone ask for, like, without any names? Without any names? Yeah, I've heard I've heard people ask for, like, 15K. Yeah. It's very outrageous. That's a month, by the way. Out. I mean, I would make, I would probably ask the team for it, but if they said no, you know, I wouldn't care. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I didn't really want that. I just, <laughs> you know, well, I this just is not going to work if yeah, I can't you know, get 15K. You know, I'm just like, I'm just testing the word. I'm like, oh, they accepted it? Thank you. I didn't want that anyway, but, you know, I got that for the rest of the year. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Rubicon style, I think, um, is a bit, might be a bit more different 
for Punk than me because I think as soon as you kind of came onto the scene, you were basically in sponsorships. Yeah. Um, but from starting out from before, yeah, I think if you put yourself in a position of power where you're doing enough for yourself that if a sponsor speaks to you, you have to become with minimum this because I'm already covering this myself. So why do I need you? So yeah, it's like when I was working, paying Street Fighter four days, paying my way to tournaments, um, even from late Street Fighter four days when I was even funding a uh, Foxy, yeah. my own PXP stuff. So it's like if I'm sending the next guy and sending myself, sometimes to the odd international tournament <laughs> and everywhere in Europe, if you, Mr. Sponsor, are telling me about a t shirt and a, <laughs> and a pad that I'm not even going to use for Europe only, half of just travel costs or something, I was like, look, mate, I'm paying for everything in Europe already. Unless you're sending me anywhere I can, currently can't go or can't do for myself, there's nothing to talk about. I see that in music a lot, like where guys are not in a position to do anything, so they get offered like bullshit. Yes. Absolute like, bullshit. <laughs> Yeah. Because they just look like they need it. You know, like, you know, like when you look like you need help. Yeah. You no, don't, no one helps you. No. But when you look like you're, everything's going in great for you yeah. in life. Do you know how many rich guys eat at mad restaurants for free, bro? On yeah. the house. Yeah, yeah. Bro, On David house. Beckham used to get everything. Whips, like, yeah, for watches, free. mad stuff. I had, yeah, people like, yeah, we got this sample coming out. What do you think? Like, you want to know your opinion for free? Yeah, we'll send you that. But they sent David Beckham's kids the Supreme Louis Vuitton box logo hoodies that never came out. They sent it to them just to wear. I don't even think, I don't even think that's just in game. I think that's in real life as well. When I yeah. used to, when I used to, uh, there was a period of time when I worked in the cells. You know how many times, certain months you just get, uh, cells were just not popping. No yeah, one's buying yeah. nothing. Yeah, and the money's just dry, just on the basic only. And then there's months where like, I'm meeting the target in the first week and I'm getting mad sales for that month. I'm like, where was half of these sales last month? <laughs> yeah. Like, when I could have made quota that month, I'm getting like triple the quota in one month. I think that's just how life goes. When you yeah. don't need to, it comes in abundance. Yeah, yes. yeah, I think that's just how it is. But yeah, my main thing on the, on the other hand is people who, are, who have been working or whatnot. If you just say to us, if you could cover yourself to a certain amount. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you could find yeah. yourself... For a time period, you can just wait. Yeah, you exactly. Wait it yeah. out. Yeah, and you have the right to negotiate more. Like, I could say to a sponsor, um, prior to, like, just say, for example, if I wasn't sponsored, I could say to a sponsor, I got myself to Capcom Cup yeah. twice off my own pocket, going to EU events, right? Winning money from some of those tournaments to fund the next tournament, because it's a business, as you yeah. say. You know what I mean? It's not just, oh, yeah, I got cash here now. Let me, I'd go to events, like, if I win this, I can go to this. Like, it was like that. You know what it was like. It was like that. Yeah, yeah. There was no nice website telling you who signed <laughs> up and where to go. It was word of mouth. Yeah. And you go there and you... Do Sometimes man ain't telling you as well. Sometimes like, the tournaments there ain't paying you, bruv. Yeah. I won IVGC. Thing went bankrupt. No money. Yeah. Like, just didn't get paid. Opened up with a new name and that, but you can't prove it. You can't get no lawyer fees. You just didn't get paid. Yeah, shit was the Wild West a few years ago still. Like, little things like that. But... You work, you pay your money, and then you do it because you want to do it. Because a sponsor, in my opinion, why should anyone pay for you if you're not willing to pay for yourself? Yeah. That's like, the bottom line. If you life. don't believe yeah. that you're worth that, then yeah. how's anyone else going to believe if you're worth I've that? never paid my own money to go to a tournament. Why am I expecting someone else to do that? That's true, man. That's, really, that's, the, that's the bottom line. That's true. Just stay at home and that's stream the, and go to your one Evo. Year, that's the like. bottom line. If you think you're that sick, because I knew on Street Fighter 4, that's where I started. With Seth, I can get guys. I would watch streams. <laughs> I would watch streams. I'd be like, bruh, what's that Momochi DP option select tech? Yeah. But I'm beating all these guys that I don't even know what frame they are. Yeah. I'm going there. Yeah. Because I think I could do something. So I'll pay my money and I'll go. If I get smoked, it's my money. I thought I could do it. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it's whatever. Reality people will rate me for that. Yeah, yeah, of course. I think I've got a lot of support from people from back in the day who know he was been doing this for a while. Yeah. Like, I'm not, it even shows in my character now. I'll money match guys. Even if in my head, if I think I might lose this match, you know. But if guys talking mad crud, nah, I got money. You have to do it. Yeah, yeah. I have to money match. Yeah. Like it's even not pride, yeah, integrity. Like, yeah, that's like even if you don't even know the matchup, no one at home even plays that character. But you know what? Got money match. And then there's not enough of that in the negotiations with the sponsors. Yeah, it's just yeah, we're giving you a shirt. Yeah. A lot of people take the bad deals of half travel paid or 
stuff like that. I think a lot of people just want a jersey nowadays. To belong to something. Yeah, because it feels, in front it of feels and they feel cool, you know, because that's what the top players do. So yeah. a lot of people just want to feel like the top player, you know. So, you know, I don't fault them for it since they don't really know any better, you know. But I think everyone should know their worth, you know. So maybe some guy do just want, he feels like, you know, he's only worth the half of, the half travel fee paid, which I understand. If you feel that you're worth that and, like, you want to try to rise up, you know, and you can't really do it all on your own, yeah. but half will help you, you know, then it's good for you. But, you know, I see some players who I feel like they're actually decent and they could get a decent offer, and I just see them take crap, and I'm like... So you've really? actually started, I mean, you've been doing it for a long time with Foxy as well, but I've seen you start flying people out. Justin's been doing that as well. Yeah, you know... You know, I feel like some people do it for clout, you know. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of people who do it for clout. You know, when I see Justin do it, I know it's genuine because he's yeah. he been doing it for so long. If you didn't, And he does it for multiple tournaments, you know. Yeah. People like me, I don't do it for multiple tournaments. But, you know, I only do it for, like, people I feel are sick. Like, yeah. if I think you're sick and I'm like, all right, I feel like this dude could do good. Or, you know, it's my friend. Like, Momi, he's my friend. So, yeah. I just want to see him play at Evo and I want to see him, you know. It's not more so of a thing of me wanting to send him to the tournament because, you know, I think it's what's going to help improve my brand. I don't really care about that. When I send someone to a tournament, it's for them to just have fun, play the game, you know, get some casuals with some top guys they probably can't play at home. It's just it's just my personal enjoyment, can, pretty much. Can, yeah, it's can, pretty much just my can, personal can. enjoyment and seeing them play. You so know, that, that's that's why you sent said Jay Z to. Yeah, Z J Z. I actually I like sent Jay Z. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I sent Z J. I'm like, I think this dude's sick. You know, I see him cook problem X. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, he could do something I can't do right now. You know, I think he actually could win the... I actually felt he could win the last chance qualifier, and he actually I did I tried it. so hard to put money on him to win that last chance qualifier. <laughs> yeah, you did, actually. And I yeah. couldn't. Yeah. They refused. To I actually felt... When I seen who was going, I was like, oh, he definitely has probably a better chance than most people. Emma not was yeah. super strong at the time. Busted. I feel like he had a time, and, you know, <clears throat> I don't make people make Twitter posts or nothing because I don't really care personally... Yeah. I prefer them not to make any posts and they just go to the tournament. Yeah. But people want to make the post, you know, like Momi, he wants to make the post because he just feel like that's what he needs to do. So, you know, ZJZ, he felt like... Actually, I think Oil King, like, made him do the post and stuff. Okay. You know, because... But I personally, I don't care. I just want him to go out and, and just do whatever, you know. If he plays top 50, 70, I don't really care, you know, as long as... You know, I just personally enjoy so watching just for your them. Entertainment yeah, just, I just want yeah, to yeah. watch them. You know, I'll go down. I'll watch his matches. You know, I was in the back of freaking the the Capcom car. You just see me. I'm cheering for him against <laughs> all the West Coast. I'm like, bro, your Blanca is trying to gimmick my boy out right now, bro. It's not going to work. I was definitely cheering for Feelum to beat him in Capcom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's the same though. Like, when I was supposed to, like, even Puck didn't know for for years. I've been supposed to Foxy. Because yeah. I'm not yeah, just yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Just, you don't you yeah. don't see him promote it. You, yeah, that's just, how I know. Genuinely, he just, just likes Foxy as a player. You know, he don't even play Mortal Kombat. You know, so you know if a, if someone is sponsoring a person for a game they don't even play, you either you're really close friends with him, or you just think that guy is mad sick and you yeah. want to see him play. So. I know for sure he just wants to, he just a fan of Foxy or he, they're just close friends. And he, and Justin, you know, just saying thing. He sponsors every game. Yeah. Guilty Gear, he sponsors Law Soul. You know, he just thinks he's a sick player, which he is actually very good at Gosh. Guilty Gear. He's amazing. He sponsored, what, like Zapparino, Princess Slim here. Sponsored a few. That's, you know, that's every that's tournament. Like he said, like five players. Yeah, that's like every tournament, too. Yeah. That's not just like once a year. You know, I only do it once a year, so... Or maybe twice, like last year I did twice. I got ZJZ. Yeah. I don't remember who I sent to Evo last year. I know I sent somewhere. I just don't remember. <laughs> who was it? I can't remember. Yeah, but, you know, I tried, you know, 2017, I sent the Karen player out radio wave. I sent him out. Yeah. I was kind of upset he lost to Alex Myers because I actually wanted to see him smoke him. But, you know, things happen. <laughs> I woke up early to go watch that match too. I was hype. I was like, "Yeah, he about to cook Myers," and he just—I was sad. I was like, "Damn, man, 
oh well, it's all good, you know. He played good. I, I, I think he did good, so I was happy. Even if he did bad, I would still be happy, you know. I see him enjoying himself at the tournament. That's all I really want to see is them just enjoying their self, you know. Outside of the Twitter clout, because I don't really care about that, you know. I get my Twitter clout from just winning a tournament, you know. That's how I get my clout. I just go out and win something. <laughs> I don't need to get clout from sending a guy to a tournament, because it's, it just don't matter to me. But that's just how I see it. I just think there are a lot of people who send. Sometimes I just think it's fake. You know, yeah, even know, though, yeah, know, even yeah. though it is like, it's a good gesture in general, in general as a whole is a good gesture. You know, you're spending your money that you don't have to spend, but some people I feel like just don't do it. They just do it for a clout, which is okay. You know, you know, you have your sponsor, you want your sponsors there and stuff. It's good. You know, your sponsor, they like, oh yeah, that's a good thing. You know, so so each his own. It's however someone feels about it, it's how they feel about it. You know, I just have a different opinion on it. That's all. Yeah, for me, intention, intention, and motive is the fine suggestion. Yeah, I wanted to send Terrell to Evo because I, I actually watch all his matches on YouTube. Who's that? The, the Kage player from Japan. Oh, he's sick. Yeah, I think he's Warlord now. I think he's sick, but I don't know how to get in contact. I contacted Tokido, and he said he don't know how to get. In, so I'm like, Tokido is blocking. <laughs> What's their matchup ratio? You might be getting smoked by everybody from that. I know he was being Bonchan online. He was smoking. I'm like, bro, what? Like, Kage's the guy. I feel like it's like Kage's worst matchup. Can't get in, but I think he's sick. This is an underrepresented. Seeing that someone play an underrepresented character is just sick. Besides, like, I don't like certain characters, even though I think it's sick. Like, I don't like Fane, but I think Vega Patch, he's a sick player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would never sponsor him because, for me, I don't so enjoy fact. watching no, a Fane player because I just don't like the character. I like what you're saying. So, but Vega Patch is very sick. Like, he's actually, he's, I mean, he's beating people. Like, you know, you know, it's not just some one-time Fane fluke. It's actually real. He's real, you know? So, it's actually sick. It's sick to watch him, but I still hate Fane no matter what. No matter how sick he does. So, there's no way you're ever going to help people with characters that you hate no no way because <laughs> i don't get personal enjoyment out of watching them so i, I, I respect that it's your money it's your money what do you think about like the way justin's gone about doing the sponsor thing as well oh like his sponsor yeah, himself. like, I, like I he's mean, the brand now you know i think that is i think that is the best way to go about it i think that gets you your most revenue you'll earn more money that way from getting all those spot and no one can tell you anything because they're your sponsors, pretty much. They want to sponsor you, you know. Yeah. It's not a team where, like, you have obligations and stuff. You don't, I'm pretty sure Justin doesn't have any obligations with those. He maybe, you know, he just promote them pretty nothing, much. Nothing outside of anything that he agreed to do in the first yeah, place. Yeah, He's pretty not going to have just, a team manager that's, oh, you need to go to this. Yeah, so he, he he's <coughs> literally his own boss right now. Like, he don't have to qualify for Capcom Cup. Like, he don't have to have an end goal. They just sponsor him because his name is, he's so big. His name is Justin Wong, you know? Yeah. You know, if if I was the company, I would want to sponsor him too. So, you know, I think that is the optimal way. If you if you want to make the most revenue possible and if you are you feel as though you're that big that you can do that, I feel like you should go for it. Like, Daigo. Do you see yourself doing that as well? Yeah, I don't think I could do it right now. Yeah. You know, obviously I'm not that level. I feel like... Right now, I need a team, so that is what I'll go for, you know. And I feel like right now the team is 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 treating me very well, you know, salary wise. I could travel anywhere I want to in the world. If I wanted to go to North Pole and visit some polar bears, I probably could go there off there <laughs> off there down, you know. So uh, it's pretty it's pretty good. So I can't really complain, but. Right now, I don't think I could go the route. Still, of you're still building. Your and legacy. I'm still pretty much yeah. building my brand up and trying to get there. You know, it took Justin what like 20, 20 years, something like that. So I don't know. Like maybe Justin could have done it earlier. Like yeah, no maybe, one had even thought of really. Yeah. Uh, besides it. Daigo, I feel like Daigo does it. And then like stuff you're associated so far with like kind of like OGs. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like not, they're both active playing. But yeah. I see them doing more. Yeah, they branch stuff more. I think for them, playing is second important, and then 
their self is more important working on their own brand like yeah. but i feel like maybe for people like us we care more about playing, playing right exactly, now yeah. we yeah. care more about playing and yeah, wanting to win uh, the yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. have so many results that the playing don't even have to be there for you this anymore. is both of your second game right yes yes well second well, fighting game well I, I mean i guess i didn't compete in street but it's my first game competing in but okay. i played street fighter 4 but you even good at that game bro I was like nice. number one ranked online Ken, right? A lot of characters, actually. Uh, what? Evil Ryu, Ken. You think you would have beat my Seth, though? I actually like fighting Seth. I want to pick Yun. Oh, yeah, but with Ken, though. Ken, Ken, Seth kind of weird, but I think it's possible. I would probably... Have you guys ever play. played Street Fighter 4? No. We can't see you. used to be in a party. Yeah, though. we used to be in a party together, <laughs> talking trash like we do now. I feel like that's why we get along so well. <laughs> like, even though we didn't know each other back then, we still talk trash to each other. And so, you know, if I feel like if you can talk trash with someone, you know they could be your friend. Guess, if yeah, if yeah, you yeah, talk yeah. trash to someone and they get mad, right you know that yeah. guy is. You can't become friends with him in the future. It's no way. <laughs> you know, I built. I feel like I built all my friendships like Kami, Smug. You know, all those guys. We just grew up playing Xbox Live together, talking trash yeah. to each other every day. So we just got friends now from pretty much just trash talking. You know, it's friendly trash talk, but. You know, it's it's just friendly. You know, we all respect each other. Yeah. But you know, when it's time, we just want to talk trash. You know, like I smoked Problem X these past few tournaments. You know, <laughs> he not messing with me right now. You know what I'm saying? Last year, he talked all the trash to me. I couldn't say nothing. I was quiet. I'm like, I mean, what what can I say? He's smoking me right now. You know. But you know, since it's my time this year, I'm smoking him. I could talk. But you know, since he won evil, yeah, I still can't. If you don't want that evil, I'll be back. If he wins evil, I'll put my phone down for the whole day. <laughs> I'll say, I'll say, congratulations in person. I went straight to my room. <laughs> nah, I'm definitely coming back. We come, <laughs> we're gonna talk about it, you know. You know, but this year I feel like if I don't get top eight at evil, if last year in the pre year I feel like if I didn't get top eight, I was not going to finals day. But this year, I feel like. If I don't get top eight and someone that I'm cool with gets out, I will buy tickets the next day yeah. to go and watch them and just yell in the crowd. That's you know, the best. <laughs> like that's how, like for, for example, like I didn't um, even have a ticket last year. Yeah, I think I was trying to argue you to get me a ticket. Like it was sold out. Like I couldn't even get a ticket. I, I, I was like, I qualified for it. I was like, <laughs> oh yeah, and I said to the guy, I was walking up, I was like, actually, how do I even get it? I even got tickets. I obviously we're gonna sell out the ticket, but. That was the, I only wanted to get in with a competitor's ticket. Yeah. But obviously if it goes sideways and if someone like Pugs in top eight, yeah. I'll get into the stadium. Yeah. yeah, but 2017 maybe I would have bought a ticket, but I literally went to Evo and I was like, oh, I'm going to get top eight. That was my mindset. So I'm like, there's no reason for me to buy a ticket. I know I'm going to get top eight. So I pretty much just knew and I was like, oh, this is my first Evo. I should get top eight. You know, I don't know if I'll get grand finals, but I know for sure I'll be on the main stage Sunday. So I was like, oh, there's no reason to buy a ticket. I know I'll get one from Capcom at least. You must feel even more confident of that this year. You know, I just this year is a, I feel like it's a bit different because maybe the Japanese, you never know with them. Maybe they are just, they're saving some stuff for Evo and they just like, okay, he had beat me at these tournaments and then Evo come. They pull out all their gimmicks and strategies, you know, that they've been they've all been working. They've on. been plotting in that room, watching the tapes. Weirdly, I think for Evo, I could actually have a better chance of winning. I think he actually does. <laughs> I think since they're so worried think, yeah. about me, yeah, that might go. Under and him. I'm like, bro, there's a Bison <laughs> player that actually still beat y'all today. He was just in grand finals of. Combo breaker, but y'all still for some reason only care about me. <laughs> I know I won the tournament, but he beat everyone else there that was not me. So I don't, I don't understand the mindset of just focusing on one player when he won Evo last year. The mix up got fourth. Yeah, fourth at the mix up. So I don't. Yeah, he beat me that as well. Yeah, this guy's actually been getting on to me though. I actually yeah, so with this guy seriously. I don't I don't understand the the logic behind only practicing for one person like I I think the optimal practice is me and Problem X and then you don't that made the Japanese don't really have to worry about someone else but they might get got but it probably wouldn't happen consistently you know I feel like me and Problem X we could beat them 
any Japanese player consistently, but maybe the next guy cannot. So there's no reason maybe they would want to train for them, but they should not just train for me. But they're doing it anyway, <laughs> and the problem might actually just I might get like. I might get like 17th at Evo and then I see problem in top eight winners. <laughs> and I'm like, well, I, I told you guys you should have been looking out for the next guy. But they, they just don't want to. So if they lose, it's a problem. I will actually personally make a tweet saying, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> shouldn't be studying one person. I will personally make that tweet. And I know everyone will will get on me and hate me, you know, because everyone loves the Japanese. But I, I don't care. I'll just be like, well... That's what you get for studying one person. And, and I will actually be content losing if problem one, I would be happy. I was like, oh, yeah, good good job, Japan. Good job. You took out one person, but y'all still didn't win. So does it matter in the end? Probably not. I think Evo, if, if Punk was to win, I'd want him to either play me in the grand final if I didn't win, obviously. and Or if it wasn't me, I want him to play Takedo. Because I want an Evo like See, when I want Evo, there's no discrepancies. The only thing actually was that I didn't play punk in the Evo. But last year he was getting smoked. So <laughs> actually didn't really matter. But like, I played everyone who was hot that like Evo. I played Gachikun, Fudo, yeah, Fujimura, Bonchan, Takedo. And in the grand finals, I beat the previous Evo champ. And it was on my stage. You know what I mean? So <laughs> like that was all perfect. It wasn't like, oh, he didn't play so-and-so. So that's the, no one could say nothing. So I want a similar thing. So if Punk was to win, because right now he's the number one player. So if he was to win, I'd want it to be either beats me because I'm the current Evo champ, uh, or Takedo because Takedo is the one that beat him in the previous one and was the the previous previous Evo champ. So, um, yeah, I actually got a question though. I wanted to ask: Do you have any kind of like ritual or thing you do before you play, or something that has you've done every single time you won? Not when I win, but when I lose, I always randomly push my glasses out for no reason. No, I don't push them. I take them off and clean them for some reason. <laughs> it's when I lose. I just always do that. I have no clue why, but, you know, I feel like when I just lose, I just always clean my glasses off. It'd be nothing on them, <laughs> but I just, I feel like that's just my way of, of calming myself down, Me just fucking cleaning my glasses off. I'm like, all right, man, it's just, it's just calm. <laughs> I, but usually I don't have anything I do. You don't have like before you play. You don't have like any particular song you listen to or anything. No. Nah, nah. Okay. Yeah, I just say like I blink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> when someone's get the longer I blink, the better I play most of the time. But I just realized something. I realized that I don't think Punk has beaten me once in tournament since he's had blonde hair. Last year he had blonde hair. He was getting smoked. <laughs> Black hair punk was smoking me, but he dyed it back to blonde, so it might be time. Just before Evo, you better dye that back. We'll see. We'll see how it goes here. <laughs> if, if, if maybe the hair, you know, I won Dream Hack with it, so. Well, I wasn't there, so don't doubt me. <laughs> <laughs> but so maybe the curse isn't so bad, but when I had blonde hair last year, I couldn't win anything. <laughs> I don't think I could get top eight at anything, so it might be better. Maybe, maybe the skill will lapse the hair. These days. Thank yeah. you very much for your time. It's been long enough. Yeah. <laughs> Got shit to be getting on with. But yeah, man. That would... You guys in grand finals of Evo or Capcom Cup would be perfect. That's what I want. I want to see that. Like I said, I could watch you catch up, guys. It's just so uh, hard. That uh, one is just hard. This is hard to even get top eight there. Capcom Cup is the last piece of the Shadow Loop puzzle. <laughs> If I win Capcom Cup, I, will, I never popped off at Evo. If I win Capcom Cup, I will definitely pop off. All right, guys, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate that, man. You've got shit to be doing. Um, see you tomorrow. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully we see you guys in grand finals at Evo. That's what I want. Storyline's wicked. And yeah, um, support these guys. They're doing good shit. See Momi at Evo. Nice. Yeah. Foxy at Evo. Of course, hopefully you don't. <laughs> Get two games up against Scott and Sonic Fox and just <laughs> go sideways again. I mean, you'll see here how it goes for him. Yeah, I keep I keep trolling him about that as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's good. That. It's yeah, good to him about that. bring it out of him, man. Bring it out of him. But yeah, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed that anyway. Boom. See you next time. See you later.